arrived at Tropical Palms in Kissimmee, Florida. And we got here in the pouring rain and this is our site. Pretty wet everywhere. Everywhere you walk. Gets pretty flooded in here, I guess, especially this site. Water was all the way up to here, really, but it's already gone down some. We are in site 376. It is a pull through site, and we got Ollie the Dolly in here without having to unhook her. Welcome to Road Notes RV and our Tropical Palms RV Resort review. Whether you come from I-4 or the other direction, you're gonna end up on Earl Bronson Highway, which is the highway we're on right now. It is also called 192. It can be a very busy street. 192 is very popular street full with stores and tourist attractions and sort of touristy shops and restaurants but as you come down here we're going to turn right off 192 into this street that leads you into tropical palms rv resort and as you can see there are sort of condo looking like buildings, motels, hotels. And it's a very busy area. Right here to our left, before we get even into Tropical Palms, you will see Old Town Have Fun. Now, this is another very popular area that has shops and restaurants. And it is so close to Tropical Palms RV Resort that you can come right out of the campground and walk right over to Old Town. And here we're gonna start entering Tropical Palms property. You can see to the right, uh, they do have a lot of uh, little cottages. But as we come in here to the welcoming area and center, just like this travel trailer ahead of us, there are two lanes that are made for RVs where you can pull in comfortably and stop your RV there and then go ahead into the clubhouse to check in, which is straight ahead from us. After you've checked in, you come through the main gate which also provides 24-7 security. This center section straight ahead from the main entrance can be a very, very tight fit for a lot of bigger rigs, even though a lot of big RVs are in here. But as you can see, these streets are very narrow. And if you look left and right, bigger RVs do fit in here but it's gonna be very slow going to go through these streets and you have to make sure you're coming in from the right direction um, to get into your site. And left and right, there are all pull through sites. All full hookups with water sewer, 30 and 50 amps. Right hand side is the main clubhouse that have, has a playground, the laundry facility is in here, and also the pool area, along with one of several bathhouses. We would have turned left after coming in from the main gate, we 
you would have come down to this street right here. You'll see a lot of little cottages on the left and right, and these are rental cottages that Tropical Palms offer if you don't have an RV to come and rent. They are very popular as well. Straight ahead, you can see another bathhouse, which will also take you to another RV section. Um, some are pull-through sites. Actually, most of them are pull-through sites. And they still have a concrete patio here in this section but you will be parking your RV on grass versus a lot of other sites that have full concrete. This RV resort has approximately 500 RV sites. When we arrived at Tropical Palms, the first campsite that we were offered was right here on the left. In fact, it was the last one you see right here on the left hand side. And I'm going to pull in here and you can actually see this site um, is completely torn up by maybe tree roots. I'm not sure what it is. I assume it's roots, but there was no way we could have parked our RV here somewhat level and still used our leveling jacks successfully so we called the front office and requested another site which we ended up getting more towards the front of this RV resort so they are very accommodating if you do get a site that you're not happy with just give the office a call and see what they can do for you. This is not a campground where you make reservations and request a site. This is a campground that assigns sites. But once again, if you're not happy with it, just give them a call and see uh, what they can do for you. Streets throughout this RV resort are all paved in a relatively good condition. There are a lot of trees on this property which provides a lot of welcoming shade in the midsummer here in Florida. And right here to the right is the dog park. They have two sections, one for larger breeds and one for smaller breeds. Here to the right is the main clubhouse where you check in and register. Inside this clubhouse, you will also find a fitness room, the mail room. They have a little bit of a like a conference room. And behind the clubhouse, you will find a basketball court and beach volleyball. entrance if you turn right you end up at this intersection here if you turn right it takes you to the section of personally owned cottages within this community here within this RV resort um, there are quite a few for sale that we have noticed uh, when we were here and you will see along this row several signs that show for sale and have these little model flags out and if you're wondering how much they go for um, we've looked at a couple of them on their flyers outside and I've seen them for sale for new which are the ones on the right for $79.9 and some privately owned like there's one here on the left 
Um, those ones go anywhere from between forty and sixty thousand dollars. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Drowning in the sea you are. There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid So, if you enjoy golfing and you're staying at Tropical Palms, only about an eight minute drive, it's two and a half miles, is Celebration Golf Club. Very unique course. It's a very beautiful golf course. But also, they have a driving range here that is out on this lake. And you have these islands that you can hit to. How much fun is that? And if you miss them, obviously, all the balls are floating balls, so they just float here in the lake. And so, if you enjoy golfing, probably a place you want to come check out. And even though I'm not playing the course, I'm just gonna use the driving range here today, hit a small bucket of balls, maybe go chip and putt a little bit.
Take this anymore